Hello and welcome back to another Final Fantasy trading card game pre-release opening. That was a handful. So today we have Opus 19 from Nightmares featuring Cloud Strife himself as the poster boy. So today we have one of these pre-release kits, uh, actually two of them. Um, so let's talk about from Nightmares. So the pre-release kits are now $45 each retail and they still contain the same contents. MSRP has increased with Final Fantasy Trading Card Game, much like Pokemon and all of the other trading card games. Um, so let's take a look at what's inside. So the chase card in from Nightmares is obviously Cloud Strife himself, which is a very expensive card on the secondary market. Right now, Cloud does go for 2000 or something around that mark on the secondary market. And that's because the card is extremely difficult to pull. Uh, it is a chase card for all Final Fantasy fans, myself included. So the promo is Arc, a summon, nine cause summon. Um, I don't think this card is very playable, but We'll see. Uh, other contents. We have Wall, Warrior of Light, featured as one of the full art cards in the set, and the sleeves. Whoa. Excellent art. And one of one of the more playable cards, I think, in the upcoming competitive formats. So let's talk about... Um, so we have nine packs. So let's talk about From Nightmares as a set. The competitive connotations and how it'll shake things up in the meta. So from what I've seen so far, the power creep, the power level isn't too crazy to set. However, there are a number of multi-element cards such as Wall, which is really really strong if you can get it to, to work because it's so difficult to play. Um, we also have Zidane, which is the new legendary card, which is extremely powerful. You're, you're able to basically play him for two cost, and you're able to remove two cards from your opponent's hand of your choice. So not only are you milling the person, you're able to remove threats before they can even get played. And he deserves 100% uh, attention whenever he's on field. You have to remove have an answer to Zendane, or you're just gonna get milled out, or you're gonna lose all of the important cards in your hand. The other legends I find a little bit underwhelming so far, uh, and we'll see if I get any of them. But, oh no, another arc, unplayable. But yeah, from Nightmares as a set, price-wise, it's very interesting. A couple of sets ago, we have Rebellion's Call, which tanked all the way from $90 a box to... Uh, what was it? It tanked from $90 to like $69. I covered that. And it, it never recovered. Ooh, Tomberry Foil. And Raphael Legendary. Whereas for, for, um, for this set from Nightmares, I think as uh, the supply dwindles, and the set only came out like a few weeks ago, for some reason, the supply is very low out there. If you look at TCG Player, the price of a box is already at 110, give or take. And yeah, it, it hasn't happened like that for a very long time. Most of the FFTCG sets, after release, they typically fall a bit, but for this set, it looks like the supply is very low. And the usual suspects where I buy my cards, they're mostly sold out or they don't even have any in stock. Sarah from the start. Okay. And so, you know, I have my suspicions that either this set is underprinted or everybody is chasing cloud and they're trying to open as much sealed product as possible. So the sealed supply is dwindling quickly and I don't know how that will affect the singles, probably make singles market tank even further, but 
but everybody wants cloud and the cloud card is not guaranteed in a master case so it makes it very difficult to pull in fact I've read that multiple people have m opened multiple master cases and they're still not able to pull the cloud sin the giant whale okay and Tetis. and you know I think that's crazy right because the difficulty of pulling that card I think really 2000 is probably making it a little bit underpriced because if you can open two master cases and not get the card is the card really worth 2k or is it worth more man I am not having any luck no full arts one legendary have I ever pulled anything good out of these these are just pure disappointments. Come on. Ah. Disappointment. I've opened two boxes of from Nightmares and I haven't gotten anything good. I wanted the Lightning Full Art. I wanted the Walls, the Dane Full Arts, but nothing. Just the very mediocre content so far. Alright. Let's keep going. Nine more chances. Basically, the, lo the, the cloud card is basically a lottery, lottery card at this point. You know, if you're lucky enough to hit it from one or two packs, one or two boxes, you can basically 10x your money, 20x your money. Depending on how much product you go through. But on that, in terms of competitive season, uh, I will be attending two of the, what, uh, six or, th or seven Materia Cups. Planning on attending two of them. So if you guys are going to be participating in the competitive scene, I'll see you there. Hopefully. I won't do too poorly because, yeah, my, my luck hasn't been the best in terms of being able to land in top, top seed. Alright, Realm is the first legendary in this one. Nothing crazy. I don't think Realm currently, as it stands, is a playable card, unfortunately. I playtested it quite a bit, but there's not enough... Uh, water and ice cards from category 6 to make it viable. Emperor and this meme card. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think Cloud is undervalued? Do you think it's overvalued? Do you think this set is good? To be honest, if it wasn't with Cloud in the set, I feel like this set would just be... Just another Emissaries of Light. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, we have Prish, which is a another legendary card in the set. Quite good, quite good. Ice Earth definitely gets stronger with that card, along with Lucius, making monsters and extra removal possible. Speak of the devil, Lucius. Being, being able to play Biblos for free makes this guy really good. And in the back, we have... <sighs> you see, this disappointment is uh, it's huge. Two pre-release kits, no full arts, what's going on? <sighs> oh my god. I could have bought... Okay. Speak of the Devil, we finally get... I get... Sabin. Sabin. Full art. Except this card is not playable. You only pull this for the, uh, the enjoyment of the art piece, unfortunately. Sabin from last set was so much better. This one... Mm, unplayable. Oh, come on. Now we're just trolling.
Okay. So, hopefully we will see the Meta Shade Cup in the competitive scene because I got really bored last season playing the same two decks, playing against the same two decks, which is Water and Wind. Uh, wind, Mono Wind, Mono Water. Those two archetypes established its presence and never left. So hopefully the FF13 Rush decks will keep Mono Wind from running wild. Uh, I've honestly hated Storm decks with a passion. Not because I can't play it, but it's just so boring. Watching somebody play Solitaire all day. And uh, yeah, that's all the polls we got today. Again, no cloud, of course not. I think the cloud's less than 1% pull rate. It's really, 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 really bad in terms of pull rates. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're playing FFTCG in the upcoming 2013 competitive scene, I'll see you there. Until next time, peace.